for the two days that we're here, we, uh, we've had offers starting from two million. These stairs were built for giants. So Ben's been a bit of a smart ass in telling me he's going to try to fly the drone through the arch at Broken Beach. The girls have just told me they don't think I'm going to fit in this hole, so I could become a plug. Hey guys, want to see what you can do in two days in Nusa Penida? Where's Nusa Penida? Some of you might be asking. Well. It's an island that you can access off Bali and it will take you about 45 minutes by fast boat to get there. Now you can do it as a day trip or as we did, spend a couple of days there. Now you'd probably know this island by this shot. It's all over the internet and it's a bit of an Insta hotspot, but let me tell you, there's a lot more to this place. Uh, last year, between a couple of shoots, we had a couple of spare days and uh, so what we did was we left most of our gear in Bali. Uh, we just grabbed a GoPro, a drone, a couple of friends, and we shot over to Nusa Penida for a couple of days. Anyway, given the we can't travel at the moment, I thought it'd be a great idea to put a vlog together from our trip over there. It goes for about 20 minutes or so, but it'll give you a good idea of what you can squeeze into a couple of days on the island. So let's get into it. making our way down to the boat that's leaving at 9 and it's now 9.01 So Pete, yeah. how do we get there? Katie, uh, how are you going? Oh great, fantastic. It's a nice park here to walk <laughs> down to the boat. <laughs> so the path down to the boat isn't a your common footpath. It's a series of rocks that we're going to scramble down. Guys, so who's going to fall over for the camera? So we've just got off the boat here in Nusa Penida and there are people everywhere just in negotiations at the moment. Two days for driving around. How much? Four million for ton. Four. Two million. So for the two days that we're here, we, uh, we've had offers starting from two million. Yeah, two days. Guys, uh, one million five yeah. hundred. Yeah, we get dropped off here. One million five hundred. We're right now. Yeah. It's got a rate. I don't know what it is. Look at your vehicle. Got four of us on a motorbike. We're gonna go inspect our vehicle. <laughs> so we're gonna check oh, out. Oh no, it's a truck. No. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's got. Um, that's got character. It's got natural air conditioning. We don't have to worry about it. That's got character. Katie's impressed. Yep. Yep. You're yep. impressed, Katie. Everyone's happy? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Light up, girls. Yeah. This is cool. Our driver. What's your name? Muddy. Muddy. Yeah. 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 Ah, Muddy. Oh. Now we're going down, cleaning beat, broken beat, and just grab on and the salvage. Like me. We've um, found ourselves a ride, which is pretty cool. That's our ride for the next couple of days. So rather than going into an air conditioned bus where got ourselves into the back of this little groovy bus and uh, cruising around Nusa Penida. So uh, the guys are just working out the schedule, but there's tunes pumping out the back. Let's get on this thing and get this party started. Woohoo! Popular spot. There's about 5,000 cars here, so I'm guessing that we've arrived. There's literally hundreds of people making their way down to this point. Like everything that you see online and the pictures looks like it's this place where you're all there by yourself. But seriously, I feel like I'm in a theme park or something. Yeah. It's a circus. 
So we've arrived at Klinking. This place is quite iconic. Look at it, it's beautiful. Um, people say that that headland down there looks like a dinosaur from up high. We got something magical. Pretending that nobody knows. Trying to hide but it shows. Lost my sense of logical. Think that I'm gonna explode. Echoes inside of my bones. So this place gets pretty manic when the boats will come in. There are people everywhere. So they call this an Instagram is paradise. The journey is very slow for no other reason than everyone sort of stops on the side to get their photos. My legs are struggling. You can only imagine how Di's going. Very sweaty. <laughs> it's pretty amazing down there. All I can say is I'd love to come back and actually have time to get all the way down and enjoy that beach. Well, definitely a place worth checking out. But if I was to suggest anything, I'd say probably try to get here early in the morning or late in the afternoon before all the tour buses and everything come in because there are literally hundreds of people here which to me it dilutes the experience a little bit but hey you got to take it for what it is and it was quite a great experience quite a great place to see glad i got the drone up anyway we're moving on hopefully we can jump in the water somewhere because i'm sweating up a storm we're on to our next adventure So there's been an accident up ahead which has caused a bit of a stall. Hope everyone's all right. We'll, uh, we'll do a bit of rubber necking on the a way A bit through. of a ding ding, okay. So we just checked out Angel's Billabong. Uh, it looks, it's a uh, couple of water holes in some volcanic rock with, you guessed it, a thousand people taking photos of themselves there. Anyway, so we're making our way to, where are we going, Jay? Uh, we're off to Broken Beach now. Broken Beach. Yep, no one will be around. No one will be around. We're hoping that we'll have it to ourselves. Like there's only, there's probably only about 200 cars in the car park. So I'm thinking we've got a good chance. That's it. Off to Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> So Ben's been a bit of a smart ass and telling me he's going to try to fly the drone through the arch at Broken Beach, of which I read a blog and a guy said there are hundreds of drones down there, so he's not allowed to do it. There's the arch and he's not doing it. So we made it to Broken Beach. This place doesn't seem as busy as the uh, last place with the dinosaur head. <laughs> but it's beautiful, look at that. Oh, there's a boat going through. Okay, anyway, we are now on our way back to Crystal Bay and um, we will check into our hotel and go down to the beach. Crystal Beach, I think it's called Crystal Beach. So looking forward to getting down to that beach. Heard it's really beautiful, so yay. <laughs> So I'm about 10 cars up and still haven't got to the source of our problem yet. It looks like we have a traffic jam going on here. As you can see, things are pretty tight. Okay, so I've made it past now. I've just got to wait for the other car to uh, make its way through. So we should start having cars coming through and I'll uh, jump back on the truck. <laughs> They're about 12 cars back.
Oh, nice. Uh, what happened to the music? I'll check it first. I think this will be fine. Because it. it's got a roof. No, it looks tropical. Can you get all the bags, Si? Si? I've got this GoPro. Yeah, I'll carry everything else. Can you get the suitcase as well? Yeah. We've just turned up to our accommodation, which is the Ruji Ananta, and this place looks really cool. Look at this. Look at this place. Green grass. After being walking through, driving through dust. And look at this, it's a tropical oasis. Here's our man. Refreshing, nice and yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. everybody Cheers. to Cheers. Cheers. So we're gonna go check out our rooms. We've just checked in. Let's go have a look. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. carrying the suitcase. I've got the GoPro, so. Wow, look at this. Cheers. This is cool. That's our room. Wow, and how much was this night, Todd? 70. 700. Big shower. Well, this little spot the dice picked is a bit of a winner. Look at this. I think there's only, it looks like there's only about four or five cabins here. This pool, and it's about a seven minute walk from the beach. So just thought I'd come and have a quick dip before the girls. The girls are getting changed, and yeah. Just sitting here, taking it all in. Water's nice and warm. How's the water? Nice and warm. Marty's trying to get us to the boat before all the big cruise boats come in so that we can get out there before the masses. So we stayed overnight to try to beat the crowds. So we've made it to Captain Back Dolfino Anomaly. Go see the um, ranters. Huh? Just picked up our fins. So this is how we end up. Shades of blue and gray. I feel just like an empty bottle. My dreams are on delay. I just wanna climb on top of a hill and throw it all away. Away. So we're at Manta Point. And we're going in. We've got 20 minutes here to try to find some manta rays, so sitting on the boat's not going to find them, so let's jump in. <laughs> Don't have to cover shoulders. Shoulders okay. Guy, what's going on? Um, getting us the rock so that I can enter the temple. There's a cave temple. 
Kaki. So this is uh, and the temple. Of when you go to temple, yes. you must be wear the sarong. Must wear the yeah. sarong. Okay. Not just here. Oh, do I need one too? Oh. You need the sarong I too, Ben. <laughs> Try not to stop traffic. Ben looks great as a lady boy. Menstruating, are they? No one's um, menstruating, Ben. Um, are you menstruating? <laughs> So we got to the top of these stairs and they've closed the gates on us. So now we've got to sit here and wait and hopefully they uh, will open it up and let us in. Anyway, I'll get my breath back. Check out this view. Famous last words. The girls have just told me they don't think I'm going to fit in this hole, so I could become a plug. How big do you think I am, Jay? <laughs> So we're inside the cave at the moment and they're, uh, they're doing their worship but this cave is so big, so big. I'll turn this camera around and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Hang on. So we're going to go a bit deeper into the cave now. The girls have gone ahead already. This is really cool. So what we're going to do is actually go down, I'll show you some stairs in a second, and then climb up the next set of stairs so that we can see the view of Diamond Beach on the other side. But the trek is quite big, that's, that's where we're going to go. Well, that's 
uh, wraps up our time here in Noosa Tanita. Getting back onto the ferry and heading back over to Bali. Unfortunately, only two days, one night is not enough time to be able to do everything we want and be able to get down and see all the places we want to. So my suggestion, at least three nights if you can, two nights minimum, um, would help to get around to everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but some places. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different for us. Uh, now that we've got a bit of free time on our hands, we thought we'd uh, share some of our travels of out and about with you guys. So uh, let us know what you think. Drop us a comment. If you want these vlogs to be longer or shorter or anything else, just let us know. Uh, in the end, we just want to make these uh, more entertaining and more enjoyable for you. So uh, thanks for sticking around and uh, we'll see you in another destination soon, where that may be, who knows. See you soon.